There are times when you have to take a loan from a bank and then what you worry about the most is the EMI or the equated monthly installment. The EMI works on compound interest and sometimes it becomes very difficult to understand what is going to be my monthly installment for the loan. And for that, we have a very simple function available in Excel. So let's quickly understand this particular function. Let's quickly look at this particular spreadsheet where I have put down the four or five basic questions that we have to ask while taking a loan. The total loan amount, annual interest rate, loan period in years and start date. Now let's quickly put down some values over here. Let's say the loan amount is 20,000, annual interest rate is 10%, the loan period is 20 years and the start date is 1st of September 2020. On the right hand side, I have got all the calculations covered. Now, in order to get the EMI, I have used a function called PMT, which is a payment function that is used by Excel. Let's quickly go through this particular function. It's PMT rate NPR, PV, FV, and type. So rate is required. It's the interest rate of the loan. Then NPR is the total number of payments for the loan. Now, in our case, like the loan period is 20 years, so it will be 20 into 12 because we need to know the number of installments over here. PV is required. It's the present value of the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. If you want to create a table showing how much of my loan is left, we can create that as well using this particular function. And let's just skip the other ones here for now. Now, what I've done over here is number of EMIs. I've just multiplied C6, which is the loan period, by 12, which is... 20 years into 12, it's 240 number of EMIs. And then in order to calculate EMI, I've done PMT C5, which is 10% divided by 12, because this is the annual interest rate and I need the monthly interest rate. So I divided it by 12 comma F5. F5 is actually the number of EMIs. And then I have put a comma and minus C4, which is the loan amount. This gives me the EMI and this will remain constant throughout these 240 months or installments. The total amount to be paid is EMI multiplied by number of EMIs. That will be my total amount paid. And if I want to just see how much interest I'm paying on my loan, it's going to be the total paid money minus the loan amount. So this 46,321 minus 20,000, which is 26,321. Based on this calculation, I can kind of visualize whether this loan is worth it or not. Now, this loan calculator template uses the PMT function to give you the details of the EMI as well as the summary. So, if we quickly put all the details over here, let's say I put down the loan amount as 20,000, rate as 10, loan period as 20 years, and the start date as 1st of September 2020. You can see I get all the details for all the different payments that have to be made to this particular loan. It also shows me how much of principal is getting deducted with every EMI and how much of interest is actually getting deducted in that particular EMI. And then after 240 uh, EMIs, my loan will be over. I also made this loan calculator template available for you. A link for downloading this particular spreadsheet template is available in the description section. Please feel free to download it from there.